Well, happy Sabbath again. Can you all hear me? It's a privilege to be here in the baptismal tank with Abel. And uh, Abel, I wonder if you could just share a little bit of the story that God has had you on to bring you to this point. Primeramente, eh, doy gracias a Dios por este momento, por este acontecimiento. I'm very thankful for this moment that God has given me. Y pues decirles que eh, estoy aquí porque estoy a punto de contraer nupcias con mi compañera. Uh -huh. I'm here uh, at this point so that I can marry my, my fiancé. Y, y he venido hasta este lugar. And he has taken me to this lugar, uh, this place. Gracias a Dios por ello y thankful I'm there, very much thankful for her. Y gracias porque los tengo a todos ustedes de testigos. I have all of you as witnesses. I'm very thankful for that. Por este acontecimiento que lo hago con mucho gusto. I'm very thankful for this um, consentimiento, this organization, this uh, facility that we can do this in. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Yes. You know, I first met Abel, uh, Abel. Sorry, a uh, few. Um, about two, three weeks ago, when his fiance Mary, if you want to stand up, Marty, and so everyone can see you, and actually you can join us up here for the baptism if you'd like to be closer. Mary has been coming to our church. Come on up here. She's been coming to our church for the last uh, probably six months, maybe a year. Of course, ever since I've been here at least. And she and Abel have been dating for a couple of years and uh, wanted to get married. And Abel had been baptized as a young person, but he felt the need to be rebaptized before he took the vows of marriage, which will be taking place tomorrow morning at 11.30. What do you say? Amen. Amen. And as I've gotten to know Abel and Mari over the last few weeks, these precious people are real gems. I gotta tell you, I have got to know them. He, he's a great storyteller as well. He shared a story with us the other day about a motorcycle and a police officer and flying over the top of the handle of his motorcycle. Another story for another time. But he also loves the Lord deeply. And he is one who wants, a, you know, it's amazing. As we were going along and studying, he would, he would make sure he was reading the book in between our studies. Because we were going very quickly, just reviewing the 28 fundamental beliefs before the baptism here. But he would make sure to take time to read it in between our studies. He would come in with good questions, deep questions, and he would recite much of the Bible from memory. And I just praise the Lord for a man who loves God and wants to make him known to others. Mm -hmm. And I thank the Lord for, Marty, you are such a gem as well, and I know that the Lord is going to truly bless the marriage that he's brought together here tomorrow when you guys are going to be getting married. But I'd like to invite you, we're going to have the baptism here, and I would like to invite you in a moment to bow your heads, and if you'll step this to the right here. I'm going to invite you to bow your heads for prayer, and then our praise team, if you want to come up here and be ready to lead in the song as he comes up out of the water. That would be ideal. So I'm going to actually invite you up here. Then we'll have prayer. And as he comes out, if you'll lead us in that wonderful song, Family of God. So he hears that as he comes out of the water. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Oh, gracious Heavenly Father, it is a privilege to stand here in the tank with one of your precious children, Abel. A man who is made a decision to recommit his life to you before he commits his life to his wife tomorrow in marriage. Amen. A man who wants Christ at the center of his home and the center of his life. A man who wants to share Christ and to make him known with others in the personal relationship that he has with you. And Father, we ask that these desires that he has will be made a reality because we can't do them on our own, but you can make them true in our lives. I ask that you will send your spirit in a very special way to rest upon him, that you will anoint him and give him grace and strength to be a man of Jesus Christ, a man filled with the Holy Spirit. May Father, as he comes out of these precious waters, Jesus 
be the closest companion he has, not just here on this earth, but throughout eternity in heaven someday. So Father, I, I lay him here in your hands. We ask that you will fill him in a special way and that Jesus will be very close and dear. And we ask this in Christ's almighty and powerful name. Amen. And now, Abel, because of your love in Jesus Christ and your desire to be baptized, it is my privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen.